All right, we are gonna go ahead and get started. I brought notes because, okay, if y'all are into human design, I'm a manifesting generator, I will be like, oh, there's this thing, and go off on another tangent. So <laughs> let's, we'll try to hone it in, shall we? Shall we? So, okay, um, Gabby's trying to make a bed. <laughs> you want to see? She, look, I'm trying to make it all like vibey and pink, and she's like, let me under the covers. Um, if you know nothing about me <laughs> at all, I know some of us connected from the We Shall Be Millionaires group, and I'm so excited that we get to connect on a different level. I'm Nisha. I'm an online business manager for witchy spiritual entrepreneurs um, who are like, eat. I'm almost at six figures or I'm flirting with the beginning of six figures. I am going to multiple six and seven, period. I won't accept anything else. Um, so that's really who I serve. And before I dive into anything today, I, I know people who signed up for this training, there are like people who are at 500K revenue. There's people who are at zero K revenue and you are all welcome here. Okay. This is a beautiful safe space for everyone. Um, I purposely like set my room up for you so we could like have the cozy vibes and, but yet yeah, like understand, um, what we're talking about. Um, so come on in, get comfy. Any questions as we're going, pop them, pop them in the chat. So love the vibe. It is all about the vibe, right? This is like what our people understand. It's all about the vibe. So that being said, if you're at the zero K mark, <laughs> that is okay. And you're so welcome to be here. I just don't want you to take this information and then be like, oh my God, what do I do? I don't know anything. What is my life? What is my business? I'm going to rewrite the whole thing, right? So some of this information might feel like when I start talking about things, you're like, what? what is that? Do I need that? I don't know what that is. And that's okay, right? It just means like you're not quite there yet and that's okay. I know some of you are at the information gathering phase and I so welcome it and I'm here for it. Just don't let the content that might be like slightly advanced for you scare you away from believing that you can hit your things. Make sense? We cool? <laughs> okay, any questions as we go again, pop them in the chat. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I am just going to have literally a quick spiel <laughs> because I have a three-step framework <laughs> in manifesting your soul team. And that is why we're here tonight, right? <laughs> Afternoon, morning, wherever it is, wherever you are. So um, you can literally ask me any fucking thing on this train <laughs> things that I'm going to go over and it's probably going to answer a lot of your questions. But again, I did get questions submitted for people who didn't want to be on camera and I'm going to read those out too. So, hey. <laughs> all right. So, um, I literally, you guys, because I'm so, <laughs> always, for, I just like dive into stuff. I'm like, you have to tell who people who you are. <laughs> this is how I am. Right. Okay. So, Here's some of the things that, thank you so, so much for filling out the forms, by the way, so that I can understand like who you are, what you need, like, and tailor this to you. And so it was kind of really, really vast. Again, people who are at 500K, people who haven't made any money in their business yet. So I just want to touch on um, some of the things that we'll be going over because these were the direct questions or things that I saw. Again, you can type in the chat anytime and I'll stop and answer you. And probably go off on a beautiful tangent and change your life. <laughs> um, things I heard were like, I need a manager. Like, I need someone to manage all the different people. It's just, it's a lot of bandwidth. Um, I keep getting staff that are duds. <laughs> Hello, sister, been there, done that. Um, I have no idea what staff can actually do for me. I, a lot of that came up. I don't know how to train people. How, okay, if I find someone, then what the fuck do I even do? Because I barely know what I'm doing myself, right? How do you train someone on something that you suck at? Like, no offense, <laughs> like automations or funnels. How am I supposed to do that? And who do I actually know who to hire? Okay, so these were the kind of things that were coming up in the forums. If you've had other revelations in the meantime, please put them in the chat. 
Um, if some of these resonated with you, please let me know which one the most in the chat, if you're able to type to me so I can use my human design to respond to you. <laughs> um, what, what is it for you, right? Like, what is it you're like, yes, this is why I'm here. Please help me, Nisha. Um, and then I know that I, I'm talking to people. <laughs> All of the above. Okay, yay. <laughs> We're in the right spot. Okay, so should I just like dive right into it? I feel like, oh, people are usually like have this whole lead in and I'm like, okay, can we just deliver the thing now? <laughs> okay, so if you're here, you probably are on the vibe of like, you're either witchy or you identify as spiritual, you identify as a new earth leader, you just identify as a human who wants to make change on this world, right? This is why people are like, oh my God, the vibe in this room right now. Like, I know, right? Um, that is the people who I serve. So this training, if you will, party, Q&A, whatever we're doing, yes. <laughs> um, is centered around you, right? It's centered around the person who has that beautiful blend or is trying to have that beautiful blend of masculine of, and feminine, of strategy and spirit, of heart-centered and I'm also making money, <laughs> right? Because when we have good money, we can do good change in this world. Okay, so if I get fired up, love that. Thank you so much. Um, if I get fired up, we're going to call it pretzel church because that's what, you know, happens, like speaking my language. All right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, sometimes I get really fired up about this stuff, about hiring, especially like having the right people and just having support and everything. So if I get a little preachy on my soapbox, we went to pretzel church and I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing, you guys. I have a three-step process. <laughs> Um, that is a blend of masculine and feminine and bringing it together to hire and manifest your soul team. That That is why we're here, right? Like, we're like, I want someone who can, like, be my soul sister in business, have my back. I don't have to babysit them. I don't have to worry about what they're doing. I know that on a Friday afternoon, I can go to the beach and, because this is my example, <laughs> I can go to the beach and shit is motherfucking handled. Like Olivia Pope style, it's handled. Consider it handled, right? Like it's not a problem, okay? So here's the three steps, okay? And when you hear this, you're gonna be like, of course, of course. Why was I making this so hard? <laughs> so here's what happens when you go to hire staff normally. And staff, okay, I'm using staff as a blanket statement that can mean contractors, that can mean employees, okay? So we're talking about both. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> so when you go to hire, you're like, okay, what skills do I need? What um, tasks do I need done? What um, do they need to be proficient in? And while this is 111% so fucking important, it's 1% of the picture, or in this case, a third of the picture, <laughs> right? It's only a piece. Yes, you need someone who's talented in A, B, C, D. However, we get super technical and therefore more masculine-based, which, which isn't a bad thing, okay? It's not a bad thing, but we get there and it's like, okay, so now I'm only actually looking at one piece of the puzzle. I haven't let any of the feminine in of letting this kind of like magic and co-creation come into my business because I'm only looking at the 3D. So my three-step process starts with clarity. Clarity in, yes, what kind of mm, skills does this person need? But also, who, who are they? Who is this person? Like, if we're hiring solely based on skills. Hello. <laughs> she just had a little snack. <laughs> if we're hiring solely based on skills, that is where, like, oh, my VA was a dud comes in. Um, or, like, oh, I think I hired the wrong person. Or I'm kind of unhappy with what my person does, but it's better than nothing. I just got to tell you all, I literally just had a strike payment come through like, in this training. I'm like, yeah, okay, fire, fire. It's, it's a new one too. Hi, baby. <laughs> Have you all met Gabby Pretzel Dog? 
Okay, hearts, love the hearts. Thank you, thank you. So, um, let me try to amp this up. <laughs> so, okay, I need you to lie down. <laughs> so, we're, we're manifesting someone who only has a little bit of what we actually need. What I saw in, um, you know, with the whole Black Lives Matter movement coming to the forefront is that people had hired people based solely off of skill and not off of their values. And what happened was their people are posting white lives matter or something that is extremely contradictory to their core beliefs and it shook them. And they ha and like, they had to make this like decision of like, she's been with me forever, but oh my gosh, like I had no idea that this is who the person was. And there's a whole conflict of values. So instead of just looking at, we do need to look at that. What does this person need to be able to do but also who is this person on a soul level? What kind of values do they hold? What kind of vibration do they bring, right? If we're having a soul aligned business and having soul aligned team members, that vibration is your biggest key in the hiring process. Is it an alignment in the hiring process? Because if it's not, it's not gonna become an alignment, you know, five years down the road, trust me, <laughs> okay? So we need absolute clarity on, you just poked me in the butt. <laughs> you rolling around having uh, your own, the uh, live stream over there? <laughs> um, not only like, what kind of skills does this person need to have? What systems do they need to be proficient in? What role will they have in my business? Are y'all writing this down? <laughs> but also, what kind of human are they? What are their relief systems? What do they want to do with their lives? Where they, you know, it's kind of like that, new spin on like, where do you want to be in five years, right? We need to let the clarity drop in, but guess what? Guess yes and yes, yay! Guess where that does not come from? Do we have any guesses? Where the, where the clarity does not come from? Sitting at my book, racking my brain, trying to figure it out, asking all my friends, asking my coach, whatever, like, you know? Asking, that's where it does not come from, okay? What it does come from, Gabby, stop poking me! <laughs> where it does come from is inside of you, right? Letting that clarity drop in. This is the manifestation piece of hiring, right? What do I actually need? Like, I was literally on the phone with someone this week who was like, do I need a VA? Do I need a salesperson? Do I need a program manager? Like there were so many different things and they were just like in analysis paralysis. And you're like, the, it needs to come from within you, right? Is this making sense to you guys? Of like, we get so like strategy and technical and da 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 about um, hiring the right person that we totally forget like, oh yeah, I was just supposed to let the clarity drop in and forget that I need to like analyze and have everything laid out and everything perfect. You feel me? Okay, so step one is letting the clarity come in. You can't brush this. Yes, yes, over addictive thinking pattern. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. Guess what, the person I hired did not work out. <laughs> did not work out. And honestly, like now my team is amazing. Like. They bring me to tears literally weekly, like those, oh my God, you guys are so good. I don't even, I don't even know how, I, like, how can it be this good? Okay, Gabby is deciding she needs to go for a nap. Okay, okay, let's move on. So we need the clarity to drop in, right? But not just clarity of the tasks. Look, anybody can be a task monkey. Do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? <laughs> Not everyone can have the critical thinking to see, oh, after I create this, let's take a stupid example, create this um, graphic in Canva, maybe I should upload it to the Facebook group, <laughs> right? Or like, you know, like see the whole domino process, okay? Okay, all right. Step two is the energetic. So once you've let the whole thing like float in, you let the upload happen. Oh, this is what I need right now. This is the kind of person I want them to be. 
their value system and what they'll do for me, right? The next spot is energetic. So once you get clarity on that, you're going to be like, wow, that feels really good. Yeah, yeah, this could happen. It's just like, oh, when you're like, oh, maybe I could have a 30K month. Yeah, yeah, I think I could. You know, I think I could. And literally the next breath, your mind is like, no, girl, you can't have that. You're asking too much. Or that's not possible. No, not for you, right? Like, let me know in the comments if you're like, yeah, I have been in here before, right? It's so typical. It's like, holy crap what if I had everything that I wanted in a support person or in a support team? And then, yes, resonating, beautiful. And then your brain is like, no, -uh. <laughs> no, you can't have that, right? So what happens at that point, and this is where I see people go wrong, and I've seen this with my clients hundreds of times, um, because as an online business manager, I don't think a lot of people do this, but I help my clients hire. <laughs> Um, hire the right people and like onboard them and, and such. So, um, so what I see is my, like, I'll have my client be like, you know, it would be wonderful if we had someone to do X and then literally like, that would be so good. Oh, how I would have so much spaciousness and, the, and this and that. And like all these things would happen. And then the next thought is like, I don't think I could have that at that rate. Or I don't think I, th maybe that's too much. I don't know. Maybe I don't think I could find someone like that. Right. So immediately your brain looks for reasons and everyone's going to be so different. The reasons of why you can't have it. So this is the point where like what it is manifesting one on one here. Right. Like it is really not any different. Like your first 10 K month that you manifested. Some of you are not there yet. That's OK. <laughs> You'll know the feeling when it drops in <laughs> like that first 10 K month that you manifested. It's the same thing for your 50 K month. It's the same thing for manifesting your soul team. Right. So once the clarity is here, it's arrived. This is where you have to hold the vision, right? Hold the thoughts of like, of course, I get to have that. Duh, I get to have that like with such like vigor and <laughs> determination, tenacity and be like, yeah. I'm having that. Like, I'm not settling for anything less. Um, I've been on calls, like, all week with people who, conviction, yes, <laughs> who have been struggling with growing their team or just not sure, they're just confused or whatever, like, all, all team-orientated stuff. And it's literally been a lot of settling. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think I could get more than what I'm getting for this rate. Or, well... I don't know, it's better than not having any help. I can't fathom how, like hiring and training someone else again, so I'll, it'll just be good enough, you know? That's just, it's enough. But it's not actually enough, it's the point of like, you are motherfucking settling. And like, I want you to ask yourself, like, if you had a client, it would be like, well, I really don't like this person, and her vibe is so not, not on my level, but it's better than no money. You would be like, what? Wake up. You're <laughs> like, like, and it's the same thing, right? It's settling. So um, this is the part where you got to hold that belief, hold the energetics, hold the vibration of like, yeah, you're getting it, right? And that doesn't mean it's easy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sometimes holding the belief in something that you have not seen yet is not easy. Like I recently, um, do you point out these patterns or you see do you point out these patterns you see? Okay, do you point out these patterns you see your clients are into them? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, my clients are like, shut up. <laughs> Let me be in this for a minute. Absolutely. Like on this call, someone was like, on one of the calls this week, someone was like, leave me alone. <laughs> because like, I'm going to call you on your bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Um, like, I'm literally not going to allow you to waste your money. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> like, just no. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, where was I? Right, holding the energetics. Is this making sense before I move on to my next piece? Um, y'all. <laughs> I love that. Yes, it's making sense. Okay, great. Yay. Yay. Thank you guys for responding. 
Um, as I said before, I'm a manifesting generator with um, strategies to respond. So literally, like the more you give me to respond to, I'm like, yes, okay. <laughs> okay, like there's so much knowledge in this brain, like it's kind of scary. <laughs> I can freak myself out sometimes. Um, and so if you guys don't know, like, yes, one three generator, <laughs> more human design junkies, yes, please. Um, if you guys don't know, like I, um, I feel like I've moved backwards as I've gotten more excited. <laughs> I, um, I actually took a business management degree in 2008. <laughs> then I went into nursing. And um, that's a whole other story of how I got online. But I was like, wow, spirit really was just like prepping me for like this moment in time where I can help people like understand everything. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Okay, so the final piece here is the physical action, making that job post, for example, right? Um, so can you see how perhaps if you've hired before in the past, you've done this backwards, <laughs> right? You made the job post, you got some reactions from it, and you're like, that, that is not what I was looking for at all. Let me tweak this. Wait, we gotta do this backwards. <laughs> like, oh, just do the action, do the action. But like the first two steps are the action. And when you do this, oh my God, hiring is going to change the game for you, okay? As an example, I recently brought on another VA into my organization. Um, Cause if you guys don't know, like we do execution for our clients. So um, like on all fronts, like on, on marketing, <laughs> on course creation, on websites, like, like everywhere. So like, we're like a whole team thing, right? Um, and I was like, got super clear first. And I had a rate in mind, you know, like I was like, this is okay, this is how it's gonna be. And I want someone who is extremely in alignment with my values, right? And I think I hired someone within like a couple hours or something, right? Like it was that fast. Like Manifestation can be so, so fast, right? It doesn't have to be like months and months before you find the right person. It might be, because maybe there's some shifts that need to happen in between that, but it is just like, wow, this is fast. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so that is basically the gist of it. Um, I'm going to, even though I hadn't planned to, I'm hiring for a client right now. And so I'm gonna walk you through before I answer some of the questions that got submitted. Wait, what was the third step? The physical actions. <laughs> the physical actions, writing that job post, posting it up, right? Um, posting it on your website if you have enough attraction there, right? Like where are the places you're posting it? Facebook groups, are you putting it on Instagram? You know, like what is the, how are you getting it out there? That being said, um, I hadn't planned to talk about this, but however, like this is coming up a lot this week in clients that I'm that I am um, helping with the hiring process. So it's have an idea of what your application process actually is. So once you have it out there, then what I find is like people get applicants in and they're like, now what do I do? <laughs> huh? Oh my God, what do I do? And here's my trick that I tell people who come into my, um, to my Jumpstart Your Soul team offer, which is different from my OBM services. Don't get it, don't get twisted. <laughs> when they come in, I tell them, you take their applications, like whether they went to Upwork or whatever, and they ask everyone to submit a video because, and this is something that came up on all my calls this week, like, Girl, I was a nurse for eight years. I can ace any interview, okay? I could know nothing about that job. I could ace that motherfucking interview because interviewing's a skill. <laughs> so I actually advise waiting until further down the line. Same, yeah, nurses in the house. Um, wait until you, you know, ticked off some applicants and like narrow down your list before you interview. Have someone submit a quick video. These are the only things you ask. Tell me a bit about yourself, um, why you want this job, whatever it is, and 
why, like why you think you'd be a good fit for our team. That's it. Because it's really hard to make that shit up. <laughs> so they have to show you a little bit of about themselves. That is when you feel into the vibration and you start really listening to your intuition. Is this the right fit? Yes, no, right? It helps you narrow it down and you make way less mistakes in hiring because you can feel who they are immediately. Especially if you're hiring overseas, you're going to know what's this person's English language proficiency like because that's important to a lot of people, right? And people do enjoy hiring overseas. So just kind of side note. Um, but those, that is the three-step process. So like clarity, <laughs> energetics, right? We're, this is the manifesting phase we're working about. We're working in the feminine right now. <laughs> and then the job app, right? Like the physical actions. And you will be so shocked, you guys, how many times I put out job apps and what actually happens is a friend says, hey, I saw your app, you know who'd be perfect for this? Or it's a friend of a friend, right? Like, um, okay, I got, I got a hand raised. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't want to just jump in, but can I ask a question off of what you just said? Yes, go, okay. go right ahead. So um, when you have them submit their video, is it to submit answering those questions or is it something to like, tell me more about you type of thing? Yeah, it's to answer the questions like, tell me about yourself. Why, why do you want it? Like, why do you want to be on our team? Why do you think you'd be a good fit? Like, why do you want this job? Why do you think you'd be a good fit for our team kind of thing? Okay. Like, so it, it doesn't actually matter what we ask them. We're asking them open-ended questions that makes them talk so you can feel who they are. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I'm just feeling your vibe. <laughs> Like, that's all that's happening. Um, their responses are, don't actually matter. <laughs> it so is do that. you do like a written, like, um, like a standard form and they submit that with the video or just the video? I usually have a video first and then I'll come on to the, like, the further levels of the application process. Gotcha. And that okay. looks different for every client, um, just depending on what it is. But that's just... It's like, okay, so let's take Upwork, for example. I've got a job app on Upwork. Somebody submits a proposal. The next thing that I do is ask them for the video, and that determines if they're going to move on to the next piece. Okay. That makes sense. Me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, great. Clarity, energetics, physical actions, right? Okay. So I did have a couple of questions submitted and I just want to go over those and then I'll totally open it and anything you want to ask me, you can go right ahead. <laughs> um, okay. So where did I write these actually? On the next page. <laughs> okay. So, and again, like if you're someone who does not want to be on camera, like you can pop the, or even, you know, you're not on camera, but your voice, <laughs> you can pop questions in the chat while I answer these ones. So the question are, is what are the top three tips for creating your soul line team? And those are like, my framework is the top three tips, right? Like this is foolproof. If you are tuning into your manifestation process, if you're fueling your soul, right? Like my, I just gave my previous assistant um a promotion um with more money <laughs> and she's been with me most of the year and we've had like a crazy crazy insane growth growth year like we made six figures in the first six months of the year i think <laughs> like it was like and no like we expected that by december you know <laughs> like not by june we're like what's happening <laughs> And, um, and so what I'm trying to get at is like, if you follow this process and really stay true to yourself, cause that's not really what this is about in that deep self trust, right? Um, you're going to find the right people to grow with you. Right. Um, so I just really like want to give that as an example, like she's literally just moved into like a higher role and she's like, oh my God, I'm so aligned. I'm so in love. <laughs> Okay, so 
Um, besides like my three step framework, if I was going to say like top tips, like you got to be true to yourself, you, you have to, um, really trust yourself in like, don't go asking, don't, I'm not going to say don't, but like you asking your coach and your best friend and your, um, peer mastermind and, and whatever, and like other people who you admire, like what role you should hire is not going to help you. It's going to cloud your own judgment and only you know what's best. Okay. Um, okay. So the next question was like, what does not work in team formation and formulation formation? Anyway, what doesn't work? <laughs> and what doesn't work is when you hire out of scarcity when you hire based on price alone, when you're like, well, this is all I can afford right now, you know, so it's better than nothing. Again, the, the whole settling piece. Um, it might work for a short period of time. It probably won't stay, stay that way, right? Um, so I definitely had pieces of this in the beginning of my business um, where I was like, literally thought I couldn't afford people. It's, it's a whole other world when you trust yourself and believe in abundant hiring. Um, so I really see that not working. And as I mentioned previously, when you're hiring based off of like completely external people who look it on paper versus what are their values, right? What are their values and what kind of person they are? So I love this question, this, this uh, last one that I got submitted and I can open it up. Um, if you could only hire one team member, um, to basically to scale. So I see this question a lot. What would that be? What would that team member be? And I want you to listen to me very carefully <laughs> because I see a mistake here a lot. People think that your first hire should be a VA. And I was actually, I had a call with someone last week because there was, you know, she was in a group and um, she, had a unique business and everyone was telling her to hire a VA because she was overwhelmed. Who you hire for basically like, for, let's, let's call it the most bang for your buck because that's what we're talking about, right? Like, who can I hire so that I can stay in my zone of genius and, um, and, and be my visionary person um, while things are taken care of? And that is going to depend very highly on your business. Okay. There is not, write this down. <laughs> there is not a one size, one box fit all solution for your business scaling issues. There is not. It depends what kind of business you have, what you're spending your time doing, um, what is stealing your energy. <laughs> key, stealing your energy. <laughs> These are the things that determine what kind of person you should hire. So the most coaching type businesses will hire a VA first and that's what they should do. Yes, totally. Because they're like trying to onboard clients and respond to emails and they got people that got to work with them and like, you know, they need to put out social media posts and whatever. So it makes sense to hire a VA. However, if you're a designer who, and, and the other piece that I forgot to say, it depends what your strengths are. It depends what your strengths are. If you fucking love doing admin work, <laughs> that's your thing. <laughs> You're high in the executing scale. Why would you get a VA? <laughs> right. And like, of course there's a point where like you can't handle it all anymore, but if you are just like starting out and it's your first hire, yes, Yes, most of the time it's going to be a VA, but I don't want people to think there's this one size fits all business because like, that's not how it is. So in the case of like, if you're a designer, right, and you're not spending a lot of time in the admin stuff, you have execution strengths, you, you like it, you know, it's not really tearing down your energy, but tearing down your energy is the design because it takes time and you are having more people come in because your name is out there and they love you and they love your work, then you can keep up with designs. Then you hire a junior designer, right? <laughs> uh, 
Um, if you're someone who deals with like systems and operations type thing, like back end type work, then maybe you hire like a junior person of what you do, right? So like it's not one size fits all. And you can find people out there who are skilled in many areas. So does that make sense, you guys? Um, so it's so specific, which is um, why I love talking about this because like there is not one thing, you know, like there is no such thing. It's like, what's the one thing I need to do to get to, you know, 10K months or, or you know, 100K a year? And like, no, no. <laughs> well, that one thing is not a thing, okay? <laughs> Um, that's why I love talking about, talking about teams and, um, just how to hire and how to, you know, hire the right people and, you know, really just, just all the things that we've talked about. Um, okay. Do you help, uh, get people clear on this or offer a service to help determine what the new hire looks like? Yes. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I have an offer that is called jumpstart your soul team and I take you through the three-step process. However, um, we get super clear on the, like, what does the job app look like, right? So I actually look at that and say, okay, is there other things that should be in here before we put it out into the ethers? Once you get that person, um, I help you onboard them into your business. And I record, like I have trainings for them for you. So like, this is a huge investment in your business because like you have an onboarding process and it's recorded like forever. So each time you hire a new person, it's like, okay, smooth, right? Smooth on, there you go. Let's, let's, let's move. Um, and actually build out your systems to help you organize your people and make sure that they can support your unique role. So a lot of my clients and maybe you'll, um, resonate with this. They want to be that visionary creator spending time with their clients. That's where they want to be, but they feel like maybe they can't quite have that, you know, where they could just like be the visionary, be the content creator, uh, do, you know, fulfill their mission, right. And like be with their clients and like just really be in their complete zone of genius. And a lot of people feel like maybe that's not possible. And that's really where I help them go. So manifest your soul team. Um, ugh. That's what I call this event. And then I'll keep calling my offer that. So I need to change the name, obviously. Jumpstart Your Soul Team is highly individualized. It is about getting the right person into your business. If you have someone who you've hired recently, train them, onboard them, record these processes so you have them forever. And um, which makes, you know, hiring super simple and onboarding super simple come the future. Um, and build out the systems that you need to make sure that the people that you bring on in your business can support that vision that you have, whatever that is for you. So that is what I offer in terms of like team building. I know it's super unique. It is like so gold. It's kind of insane. Um, the price is going up soon. It's for being on this call, it's like 1444 or something like that, <laughs> um, which is like amazing for the investment that you have in your business. If you want to make sure that it's for you, you can have like a 15 minute kind of check call with me for free for being on this call. Um, you can just like email me or message me on Facebook um, afterwards and we'll get you set up. But yeah, that, that is, thank you for asking. That's what I do on that piece. Um, it's so good. Like, it's so good. Um, yeah, you can let me know if you have questions on that. Um, so I'm going to open it up to questions on all the things. <laughs> Can't move. Questions on all the things. Um, okay. Love it. Would love to set up a call. Perfect. Make sure you message me after this thing because I'll be like, ah, it's time for scandal. <laughs> um, so yeah, any questions about this, my people, <laughs> about manifesting, about teams, maybe even, maybe you have someone now who's not working, like, let me know where you're at, like, what is it, we gotta, we gotta switch it up a little bit, my body's like, change positions, um, yeah, let me know where you're at, what you're needing, and I would just love to support you on this call, I appreciate you so much for showing up with me, and, um, I went for 40 minutes. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not here for like the hour and a half long, whatever. Like, yep, let's do it. Love it. 
Um, so yes, um, not seeing anything else come up in the chat yet. If you have a question for me, you can just, you can just talk. <laughs> you have free reign to talk. Um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a manifesting generator. So the more you give me, the more I can respond to. <laughs> This has been so perfect. Thank you. I just wanted to thank you. Like I have like two pages of notes here. <laughs> so this generator is taking all the things down. Um, yes, I, I love it. Ask, I wanted yes. to ask you more about the um, the onboarding. Like when in or how long? Like is it kind of like a couple week process? Do you work for? if you could talk more about that onboarding, like when you help onboard somebody, do you follow through with them or do you have the things set up where it's just automated? And how does that, how does that work? If you could just talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So in, in my offer is what you yes. mean, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, so this process, depending on where you're at could take a few weeks. So like if you haven't found a person yet, it could take a few weeks to get everything completed. Right. But the onboarding is like, getting them into your business, getting them into the systems, getting them trained, right? So that setup is probably only a few days max, depending mm -hmm. on like how many systems you're using. But the idea is that this can be almost entirely automated next time because I've set it up for you, right? Um, and I've recorded how you do it. Um, so does that make sense? So that's where like, yeah. yeah, like the deep business investment comes in because it's like, I'm set now. <laughs> like, right. like, so, so let's take the example of you hire a virtual assistant. And so we jam out, what are all the things you need? Like, at least on a recurring basis, right? Like what happens all the time? And we get the person in, in your business, in your backend systems. If you say you don't have a project management tool yet, then we get that. We get that set up with all of the tasks, get them into it, make sure they're learning it, make sure they're doing okay. And then um, once once they're in, like that's all ready and they understand how to use it to support you and you understand how you need to use it to ask for the support you need. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, yes. Thank you. Of course. Yes. You are so welcome, loves. Thank you so much. Um, I don't see any other questions. So last call. Um, I literally just so much love to you for showing up, for asking questions, for interacting with me again. Like you're just like fueling my human design. Like this was so good. So delighted. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I don't see any other questions unless, um, sorry, Kim, did you have another one? I could probably talk forever, but I, it's like, I'm like, no, this is really good. It's like, I could be like, another one, another one, keep talking. Because <laughs> it just, it feels like when you can see the, the vision of this, it's not doing more yourself. It's not just taking all the things and doing all the things, because it actually slows you down from moving forward. So I'm like, oh God, there's gonna be so many people I have to hire. Just the, like <laughs> looking ahead and it's thinking, well, this just makes so much sense because in everything that you spelled out here, it's like, oh, it makes even more sense. So I just want to thank you. And I feel like I could talk forever and like ask more questions, <laughs> but I, I'm good. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yay. I'm literally just over the moon that you guys got value from this um, and that you're here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, again, like email me or send me a message on Facebook if we're, I think we're all connected there. <laughs> we're not, you all better connect with me, you know? Um, uh, if you want to like just talk further or if you want to hop on that 15 minute call, like, you know, happy to offer that to everyone, who, everyone who's on here and there will be a replay going out. So watch your email for that. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm so thankful for you guys. So that, that's that's that that's the pretzel <laughs> thank you guys so much for showing up today and i'll be connecting with all you guys real soon